bad, immoral, and wrong. This is the Modern Eater Show. Piping hot and delicious. The Modern Eater. Food, 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 food. Come and get it. And now your hosts, Greg Beck, Jay Parker, and Brian Freeman. I love when Jared says we're hot, you know? <laughs> does that mean we're on the air, Jared, or does that mean that we're actually hot? Hot. We don't hear that that much anymore. It is summertime. <laughs> yeah, I just turned a uh, birthday, another year older. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'll tell you what, never a dull moment in Studio Kitchen, Colorado. Back in the kitchen this week, we've been on kind of like a to a whirlwind. Oh, man. Whirlwind tour, Brian. Greg Hollenbach, Brian Freeman. Uh, Little Rich Schneider missing in action. Jay Parker doing his hard work. Dave Avery doing his hard work. And uh, we got a good lineup for you tonight as it's uh, coming out of the second week of the summer dinner series. Here we go, week three coming up. And uh, Wow. It is, it's been a whirlwind. Since the, the road trip, we saw all these killer farms, great people. Just I, salt of the earth, man, is what I always call it. You know, our... Our soil farmers on the uh, to wrap that trip up, but huge trip. We come back and right jumped right into Fourth of July summer dinner series, and it did start with a bang. We we had rain. We had a lot of fourth of uh, fireworks, which was funny because did you know that the place that we were supposed to be watching the fireworks were canceled. But there was so much fireworks in the neighborhood that we had one of the best shows. I don't think anybody cares about fireworks anymore. They're like, man, this summer's almost over, and I feel the same way. It's almost like you need to stop, take a big breath, and go, am I enjoying myself? Because summertime, you've got family vacations. You've got places you want to see. You want to get it all in. And then all of a sudden, it's the end of August. Yeah. And that, you know, so summer dinner series goes through August 20th. We encourage you to come have dinner with us every Tuesday night. Some dinners are almost sold out. Some dinners we'd love for you to come join I us. I think there is one or well, two dinners well, that are sold well, out. Aren't we'll there? go over that here momentarily, but I just want to set the stage for tonight's show. I'm kind of giving you an update right now, but it's 6:15 scheduled and in traffic. And they're not used to this, yes, the no. Denver traffic. The city you, life for those two. You got it. So Adrian and Dan, you're probably listening. Google Maps will tell you like an estimated time because <laughs> of traffic. <laughs> so you just plug the address in. You say, okay, well, how long is it going to take? And then you know. Hey, hey, man, coming from somebody. You Perpetually punk, punk, late? Well, I, well, Never I mean, for I'm the ju- show. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying, well, I'll give, you, I'll give you that. Never for the show. Corner post meet, 615, 630. They'll be on. And Biker Jim Pittenger, I'll tell you what, this guy flexes his uh, culinary muscles, and you think, okay, well, you know, he's a one-trick pony. He's going to churn out the most delicious gourmet hot dogs you can ever have. No, no dogs allowed, and Biker Jim Pittenger will come up on July 30th here in the kitchen for the summer dinner series, and I'm so looking forward to this dinner. There are just a handful of tickets left to Biker Jim's dinner, but it's no dogs allowed, no hot dogs, and we're looking at him tonight using tenderloin to make chicken fried steak. to make chicken fried steak that would have made my mom roll over she's here right now chicken fried steak with tenderloin mom would you have ever had that while i was a kid i was never allowed to even eat a piece of tenderloin put that headset on mom well you know what's great about the biker gem is i knew that guy before he was famous for hot dogs when he was making cheesecake and, you know, he makes incredible cheesecake. Tonight he's doing this. And one of the things that I thought was cool is, is he tells me, Brian, I think about the dishes that I'm going to do for a long time. So I really have a lot of prep in the, on the front side of yeah. that. And that's cool. That's he, really cool. He really loves to cook. And um, he's, just, he's in the zone in the kitchen. Mom growing up. Hi, Mom. Mom's on the show. Patricia Peterson. Hi, son. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> um, does it blow your mind when you hear chicken fried tenderloin oh i love it do you oh my god well you would have you know as a kid it, tender or you know round used to make steak. it when you were a kid i know but you would never use a cut like tenderloin oh probably not no. never <laughs> zero percent you don't chance. feed kids that but think about <laughs> i mean you think about how delicious just chicken fried steak is in general no matter oh. what cut of meat right a flank I mean, a I'm, round i'm dying here tonight I'm so glad I came so I could get Biker Jim's chicken fried steak. Oh, well, I'm and wait heaven. until you see the mushroom gravy, Patricia, that oh. he's going to make with Hazeldell, local Hazeldell mushrooms, some oysters. He's also got this other. 
deep fried royal trumpet mushroom from Hazeldell. I wish we could get some from SRA right now. They've been, they've been really cranking. They just got that new thing out, and they're they're moving a ton. Yeah, but, but for, and mom, stick around because I, I think it's cool that you're on the show right now. But I want to jump forward to Carly Smith at 7 p.m. The fairy gut mother. Did she you just, think it was fun that I brought your babysitter? She she just <laughs> she just released her menu. And Carly Smith's menu is ready to be talked about. So yes. at 7 p.m., Carly Smith is going to come on, and we'll talk about her menu and her dinner. But the fairy gut mother, she truly puts so much time and effort into sourcing these ingredients, putting together a delicious menu. Everything's going to be so well thought out and educational. If you'd like to come to the fairy gut mother's dinner on July 23rd, you can still get tickets at summerdinnerseries.com. Jason Wange, Desert Peak Marketing. Jason, yeah, he throws up the, the high fist in the air because uh, here's one of the guys before the kitchen even started to come together. The first piece that we had in here um, <laughs> that was worth anything at all was this beautiful Heston range that he brought in. And we've used that like Jace, Jason. Or pff, Jay. Yo, yo. Jason, <laughs> Jay. <down>. Jay. <laughs> a lot of people think my name is Jason. I'll bet. I'll but bet it's not. They do. Uh, th the studio wasn't even built yet. It was built on a dream and a thought and an idea. And here it is. They bring in this beautiful um, Heston range. Yeah. Desert Peak Marketing, man. You yeah. And, save um, the day on that one. And, and I think it's safe to say that that's the one piece of equipment that thus far doing the shows here we've used that every single show like un undoubtedly on uh, and it hasn't failed once it hasn't uh, stopped working i mean it that thing is a machine it is well truth of the matter is we would have used any stove but well yeah but <laughs> not any stove was do donated to us from desert peak marketing and uh, the fantastically and handsome jason wayne that's right and chefs love it so much emma nemacek she makes a return appearance chef emma nemacek from the omni interlock and i know my mom's probably one of her biggest fans but emma's here with us tonight doing the dessert thing oh and she said hey brian I've just got enough for you tonight. Is that okay with you, Greg? That's all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patricia's, she's like, I'm going to arm wrestle you or throw you down. Yeah, get past me. <laughs> Chef Emma hasn't been on the show in a while. I know. And, and I'm super excited that she's here because yeah, she's just a delight. Uh, she is. Jack Dybal, uh, brewer owner, Dybal Brewing Company. He's coming in with some delicious Dybal beer. That's the lineup for us tonight. But, again, my mom, an opportunity to catch up with you. Here's what's cool. Um, you know, mom, you, 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 nice. food wise, <laughs> no, we're talking food. This oh, okay, is nothing good. personal. That, 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 that's you. <laughs> um, food wise, I got to tell you what. So for the longest time, you seeing me do what I do and, and mess around with Brian Freeman and organic produce and where I go shop for groceries and, and things that matter to me of what I purchase and who I choose to spend my money with. And then, you, you know, your notion was, let, let, let's go to Applebee's, which is fine, and, and get the two-for-one. So, you know, the cheapest, the better, right? Cheap and great. Well, she's raising kids, man. Yeah, raising kids the whole night. But the, the, po the point of what I'm driving at here is that as you've gotten more involved with the modern eater and you've met the, the people behind the food, the chefs behind the food, the purveyors, the ranchers, the farmers, and they've become friends of yours. What, what, is there anything that you've learned, and, and especially, that, you know, you went to Old Major and had dinner with Justin Brunson. and oh, you that was delightful. You had an experience, right? You had an experience. Absolutely. How much does that weigh to you now in your thought process when you're going to go out to dinner? The experience, the food, the knowledge, the chefs, versus just that mindset of let me go out and grab something to eat to fill up my belly. Well, you know, I'm kind of at a stage in my life where I really do more early happy hour stuff. So uh, I don't really give a lot of thought to going to these high-end places unless I'm treated to it. Now, do you think it was high-end? You got out of Old Major for under 100 bucks for two people. Oh, yeah, but Justin was really good to us. I don't think he, uh, you know, I think he gave he, you maybe a little family discount at 10%. But it, Yeah, he gave us We Love You, you know. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, so let me try you again. But we, we, well, also, we also shared a plate. Let me try let, it again. Let me see if I can't warm this up here. Yeah. Patricia. Yes, sir. Since you've been coming to the kitchen, who do you think is that chef and that dish that you connected with since you've been coming to the kitchen for about eight, eight months now? Well, I love Keegan Gerhardt. Do you? I do. I love Keegan. 
Oh, my goodness. And his dinner series last year was fabulous. I think she could yeah. probably go down the list. You could. There's, oh, a, yeah. there's a lot of new friends that you've gotten to know. Absolutely. And, you, you know, in the day and age, and we're going to talk about an article, we've just lived through the greatest period of restaurant growth in U.S. history. I'm looking forward to Brother Luck. Here's why it's coming to an end. I mean, look at that, that you can name off chefs now people within the industry um, where we get food from I think I think it's nice and I think that it's cool that we can turn folks on that may be on the fence with something to where one night in your mind you'll go you know what I want to go support King Gerhardt I want to go support Justin Brunson it may cost you a couple more bucks out of your pocket but it means something to you oh, yeah, I love the Mark Whistlers of the world the, the well I go to I go to the goods yeah I go to yeah. goods not a lot but a couple of times a month, for sure. There it is. Yeah. I like his chicken fried steak there, too. She's a, she loves a good grilled cheese. Well, I hope that it continues and grows on you, and you meet a lot more friends, and we just this, well, you know, this I'm continues st- to go. You're stuck with me, so. I am stuck yeah, with you. Yeah, you're stuck with me, so I'll be back m- probably more times than you'd like. <laughs> no, we love having so, you. So, well, here, let me, let me bring her in a little bit. we got to get to break, but, w- Patricia, best drink since you've been in Studio Kitchen. I love Rocker Spirits whiskey, but boy, I have to be careful. <laughs> it's whiskey. Turn me loose. <laughs> <laughs> it's whiskey. He does those great old fashions, that's for sure. He does that. Uh, mi- he is oh, just that stri- mixed mixed yeah, cocktail program that on the rock. is just awesome. Oh, you just like his on the rock. Just like it neat on the rock. Or whiskey. Ne- yeah, yeah, whiskey on the rock. So rocks. Greg Leonard, uh, the GM of the uh, Hyatt downtown, right? His mother loves. Rockers whiskey as well. Okay, thank you, Mom. We're gonna take a break. We'll thank you. Back. Thanks for bringing Bobby, my babe. Yeah, he's a babysitter. <laughs> hey, uh, Greg. Just so you know, uh, and our listeners know, if you go to uh, f- 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 if you go to Facebook during the commercial break on the Facebook stream, I'm gonna be showing the highlights from our road trip 2019 Ooh, that's alongside a great idea. alongside of uh, Chef Emma Nemechek and Jim Pittenger doing their thing. So it's a little fast time action of. Thanks where, for the update. Where we were and who we saw. All right, Little Rich, where are you? Adrian LaRue, where are you? Dan Lorenz, where are you? Corner Post meets uh, theoretically coming up next right here on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Choose your path through Cyberland. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook for all the fun photos and videos. Just search The Modern Eater or check out the website, themoderneater.com. With PatriotSoftware.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time in mind. Mike Kappel here, serial entrepreneur. Doing payroll is no longer a headache for our customer, Jeff. I've used various payroll providers in the past, and none can hold a candle to Patriot Software. Their software is ridiculously easy to use. The support staff is knowledgeable and courteous. I am very excited that Patriot Software files my tax forms for me, not just providing the forms like other payroll companies do. As a business owner, managing payroll has been a long-time headache that I no longer struggle with thanks to Patriot Software. I definitely rate your company five out of five stars. Go to PatriotSoftware.com to get your payroll pricing for up to 100 employees. Use promo code RADIO and get two months of payroll processing free. That's PatriotSoftware.com. PatriotSoftware.com. Accounting and payroll. Keep your time and money. Wear black and eat spices. Hey, Modern Eater listeners, this is Zach from The Spice Guy, Colorado's favorite spice company. Spice is the variety of life. At The Spice Guy, we have a passion for sourcing the best ingredients from the best farmers all over the world. Choose from thousands of different GMO-free spices and ingredients, or let us create and blend custom flavor profiles for whatever style of food it is that you're working with. With over 1,000 restaurants, food brands, and chefs behind us, you can't go wrong when you choose The Spice Guy for all your spice needs. The Spice Guy. Spicy. Born in Breck, raised in Denver. Rocker Spirits. It's a distillery. It's a place to hang. It's about quality. It's about taste. It's about passion. Infused with American spirit. Rocker whiskey, rocker rum, rocker vodka. Get ready for an original look, feel, and experience. Old Town Littleton. And if you get hungry while you're sipping on some drinks, they've got the best food truck line in town. Open Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Rockerspirits.com. Rockerspirits.com. 
Hi, I'm Andrew Moore, brewmaster at the Intrepid Sojourner Beer Project. At Intrepid Sojourner, beer tells a story inspired by my... As a well-traveled archaeologist, my recipes draw inspiration from all over the world, from historical styles like satis, grazers, and kvass, to adjunct beers inspired by flavors from international cuisines. My beers broaden the horizons of what beer can be. Explore basil IPA and Turkish coffee stout. Enjoy chai brown ale. Taste lavender tripel and the distinctive horchata milk stout. Thoughtfully source spices and herbs, enhance flavors inherent to indigenous beer styles. My sincere hope is that Intrepid So Sojourner Beer Project will inspire adventure and wanderlust. Come visit the tap room and share your tales with friends and plan your next sojourn. Located at 925 West 8th Avenue in the heart of the Arts District on Santa Fe. For everything intrepid, look us up online at sojournerbeers.com and remember to drink globally, locally. Hey, it's Greg Holland back for Gluten-Free Things. Are you intolerant or sensitive to gluten? Or maybe you're a gluten-free lifestyler? Is your menu limited because you've eliminated gluten from your diet? Are you missing the taste of foods that traditionally contain gluten? What if I told you that you can add breads, pizzas, muffins, cakes, cookies, waffles, croissants, English muffins, the list goes on right back to your menu. Gluten-Free Things is a local gluten-free and vegan bakery that reintroduces you to the foods you love. Owner John Irvin believes gluten-free shouldn't taste like the box that it's packaged in. Trust me when I tell you the products from his bakery in Arvada are fresh, flavorful, and masterly crafted, leaving you with a product that tastes like the real thing. Simply delicious. The bakery is located in Arvada on 64th across the street from Arvada West High School. Check out their website at glutenfreethings.com. You'll be amazed with the variety of gluten-free products they make. And chefs, don't leave your gluten-free restaurant guests without options. Contact John at info at glutenfreethings.com. That's info at glutenfreethings.com to see what he can do for you. Give him a shot. 11651 West 64th Avenue in Arvada. It's gluten-free things. Hey, you guys. Jay Parker here for Encore Energy. How much are you paying for your natural gas? Wouldn't you like to save 10 to 20% on your natural gas bill? Of course you would. You're not crazy. Encore Energy and Brian Rizzuto can do just that. Save you money. Give Brian a call. 720-245-5771. Maybe you own a restaurant or a brewery and use a ton of natural gas. This is how you save money. Get a free savings review from Brian Rizzuto and Encore Energy. Call Brian. Brian at 720-245-5771. Save 10 to 20% on your natural gas bill right now. Yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> this is Justin Brunson, Ultra Meat and Cheese in Denver Central Market. I'm a meat guy. <laughs> and you're listening to the My Your Show on iHeartRadio. Parker, Brian Freeman, Dave Avery. And uh, just waiting for corner post meet, so we're going to shuffle some things around in the meantime. And in between time, Brian, why not? Jason Wage. I like that, man. Let's bring it. Desert Peak Marketing. Uh, first of all, welcome back to the show. Greg, thanks for having me. Working Love it. hard, man, always. This is great. It's fun. Do you ever have uh, just downtime, fun time? What do you do for fun? You know, um, a lot of time with family at home, of course. I'm doing... Uh, for fun on the side i'm speaking i'm doing some speaking some motivating some inspiring wait wait hold on no i mean you're inspirational to me because i know you um but tell me about this inspirational speaking what just start where where you know you know everybody's got a story and uh and in most good stories there's some level of overcoming figuring out you know where you are from where you want to be and then putting tools together to get to where you want to be so i'm Offering that to people, to teams, to individuals. I'm speaking at Aurora Public Schools in a month. Uh, 250 people help them create the culture they're looking for is what they want to do. So. Like reverse engineering. Exactly. You figure out where you want to go, and then you put some tools in place to get there. So can, you, can you help me and Brian? <laughs> uh, sure. Only over a beer, though. We'll I don't know where over. I want to go where he wants to take me. That's what <laughs> scares me sometimes. Uh. <laughs> That's great. So, so kids. Yeah, yeah. I've got two little ones, and... Uh, it's great. It's it's a full time gig. It's fun. You know they've got high energy, and uh, we have a lot of fun. We're it's, great. It's interesting because, I, and I'm speaking for myself. Maybe you can identify with it, but there becomes a point in time in your life to where, first of all, you're figuring out who you are, what your capabilities are. Um, should I eliminate some of this about myself? Should I put this on acceleration? And and, and then everything finds its own level, like water. And you become a point in time in your life to where there's a little more of your life behind you than in front of you. And you go, what's my indelible footprint? 
what can I do to reach out to others to try and lift them up into a position to where maybe I actually do have some life experience and knowledge to be able to share with other folks. So I'm assuming you're probably at that point in time in your life of like, what's Jason's legacy? What can I, what can I really do to help make a, an impact, an imprint on this world? Oh, gosh, man. You're going deep, Craig. Um, oh, you're doing motivational speaking. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, if there were a legacy, it would um, probably be to help people through just honesty and vulnerability uh, be okay with where they're at and uh, create dreams of where they want to go and help them do it. And same is true of my kids. You know, we, I'll tell you, so I, I wish Haley had come tonight. She, she's my 10-year-old. Uh -huh. She's home because she's on crutches and wheelchair right now. She okay. just, we're just at Children's and Ashley and the team over there uh -huh. and Adrian. Great um, she's doing a full leg lengthening right now. Gotcha. So we're lengthening her legs. So no wait till September. But we came here. We watched someone baking one night. She got so excited that 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 became her thing for like with the kids it's trying to figure out where do you jive where are you going what do you love yeah. what's your heart seem to come most alive so she's making eclairs she's doing cream puffs are you she's doing all these cookies from scratch and it's so fun all born out of all this and so it's moments like that that you that i take with my daughter or that you try to take with anybody you meet that just gave me the goose pimples <laughs> isn't that <laughs> fun really cool. well it is and and truly when you sit down and you're like faced with that well what's life all about type of thing Boom. I mean, there's the answer right there. That's what it's all about, uh, helping others get to the place of where they actually have their joy and happiness. It's interesting because we're in a business of where um, you work with a lot of folks that have that servitude mentality. If you're in the service industry and you're in culinary, yeah. you like to see smiles on other people's faces. And with Desert Peak Marketing, you put a lot of smiles on our face here, but I want people to fully understand Truly, what do you do at Desert Peak? Sure. We, well, we do the same thing on a bigger level with restaurants and people's dreams. So we're a, a manufacturer's rep firm. So we represent 25 different lines of Heston Range to Cardinal Glass and Churchill and everything that you put in your restaurant. And we sit down with you and say, all right, what do you want to create here? What's your vision? Both from a vision standpoint, from a feel standpoint, from a culture standpoint, how do you want to move people? And then what's the equipment you need? What's your tabletop going to look like to help you accomplish that for the people you're trying to attract in more reverse engineering always just you that thought process always start with the ending or you yeah. end up sort of like a rudderless ship and you have their interests in mind so where do you begin here's brian yeah so jason are you only in the back of the house you're in back of the house front of the house back of the Talk house in front of the house okay so um so yeah we've got a whole bunch of ventless equipment or cooking equipment for the back we've got small wares, you know, the pots and pans that they're using right over now when they're putting their ganache on top. We've got uh, glassware and dinnerware and flatware, all the pretty stuff that creates the emotion when someone sits down to see what they're eating at, tables, chairs, really the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, nice. it's really fun. How do people get a hold of you? Yeah, it truly is. You know, uh, desertpeak.biz is a great way. You know, our, uh, is our phone number is on there. They can call me on my cell phone, of course, 720-935-4741. Uh, we've got a whole team of people, specialists, folk in, focusing on hospitality, on education, working with consultants who are designing, and we work with a lot of the major dealers in town who are partnering with end users as well. Nice. Unbelievable. Do you see any trends in that? Sorry. No, Sorry. you're good. Do you see any trends? Like, what's up and coming? I mean, I really will say I've had a lot of chefs come in here and say, we love the barbecues because we're, you know, we're a kitchen where you can come in and use a green egg or, you know, I mean, this other... Our, our, yeah, the Yoder. Um, what do you see, though, in the, in the way Friend of wise, what? Great question. Is fried food? I mean, cool fryers? Or? Oh, well, fried, I mean, fried chicken's become huge in the last couple of years. Um, so many, you've got post, post doing tons of stuff. Every, so many barbecue, fried chicken. Will I, the fryer ever change? Will it go oilless or? Oh, gosh, absolutely. I think I it think will. So. Well, it's already started to do that. There's um, auto fry different units that aren't even using. Sorry, Zach Kreider. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's still it's still huge. But you see places like schools where they're trying to create a fried uh, taste, the uh, texture in your mouth, but they can't use the oil. So, you know, company, companies of combi company companies, different things like that are coming up with ways to create that sort of essence without using it. So I love like question, an air fryer right? or something you mind if we go because I love the question, because what we do when we go around to visit farms and ranches and, and it, as technology is meeting agriculture. And with that, there's aquaponics, hydroponics, sure. but you have the traditional soil people 
that live and die by their soil, you the earth, the nutrients. And so here you go with technology meets the kitchen and certain equipment. And there are folks out there that live and die by the fire. You sure. got to have the fire. You got that 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 some of those stoves, those convection stoves, and things freak people out a little bit. Should they be scared, or should they embrace the future of the technology that's coming into the kitchen? Undeniably, uh, acknowledge your fear in the moment and be willing to push through it to learn. Is what I would say. And if you want to create something raw and something simple, then that's beautiful too. And there's obviously still a place for it. But there's so much that can be done with efficiencies. One of the things I see is kitchen shrinking a little bit or restaurant shrinking. I should say restaurant shrinking. At times you see, you know, the takeout movement is huge. And yep. so you're trying to serve people in ways where they're not necessarily coming in and sitting down. So um, you're needing to be more efficient with space. Real estate's up, become more expensive. So people are having to be way more efficient with how they're cooking behind the scenes, less hood space, ventless technology. Yes. Well, in New York, you have a virtual restaurants, you know, where you're going online. And they're working out of commissary kitchens, incredible menus. You can only get it delivered right to your house. There's a ton of, I mean, that's a huge movement right now where a lot of young entrepreneurs are saying, guess what? I don't need the brick and mortar anymore. I'm willing to go into a space that I can share with some other chefs and then just, just purely do delivery. They have no front of house. Absolutely. I saw you know a I mean? major chain based out of Denver. They just opened a place in Chicago. They're doing that very thing. You can't go in and eat there, but you can order their food. And they will make it there, and they will, will part whoever their third-party delivery company is, or if someone comes and grabs it, it's it's becoming significant. Yeah, it, that's a, it's, it's a great lead-in for a question we're going to go well, into tonight yeah, we, and we're, talk about we're this. Gonna, we're going to try and get to this news piece that I read out of the Washington Post. We've just lived through the greatest period of restaurant growth in U.S. history. Here's why it's ending, hmm. and it has a lot of variables to do with. First of all, just the small margins. Um, with restaurants and and you know if you're uh, probably one of the most amazing restaurants in the world seven percent profit off the bottom line is truly all you're ever going to achieve and with margins being so small we think about equipment and and ways that you can save folks with the equipment that they well, I'm a, uh, invest in right all the time invest in your future with that first of all you want to make a billion dollars always okay uh, you, brian I mean, we can get in on I this want to, together. Babe. Come on. So think about restaurants and food costs and a smart walk-in that can know what you're about to be out of, that can order it directly from the manufacturer, that can have that order placed and yeah. brought in, in to where there's got to be a way to really dial in and calculate exactly through equipment what you have in inventory, what you need, what that time is, that it knows how long it's been on that shelf for. Um, you know, ideas are only as good as the development, so there's got to be good people behind it. Sure. But will we be seeing more and more of that type of, of functionality for restaurants? Uh, I think absolutely. When I, when I look at social media and different manufacturers and where they're pushing, it's not any different than car technology. You know, you saw Volkswagen just did, partnered with Ford to create AI technology for self-driving cars. Same is happening in our world. Technology is huge. People, you know, labor challenges, labor costs is a challenge. Mm -hmm. More often than not, the question that if we're not helping design a restaurant and creating emotion and stuff, they want to know how, how do we become more efficient? How do we help solve all those problems? And so what they're doing is they're using technology to think through all those questions. We, we used to have two people do this, you know, for whether you agree with it or not, how do we turn into one? How do we become smarter? How do we become faster? How do we do things like instead of coming in every day and cooking for the day, how do we batch cook on a Monday and a Thursday and, and use technology to blast chill or blast freeze that preserve. product to preserve it where it can last for days or weeks? How do we become smarter in all those ways? And I think yeah. that that's the answer to this, to this. And at first blush, if you have a chance, uh, folks out there that are listening, you, Washington Post, you can Google it, I guess. We've just lived through the greatest period of restaurant growth in U.S. history, and here, here's why it's ending, is the, those are all traditional thought processes from all of traditional methods that have been put yeah. into place. You've got to think smarter. You've got to think better. Uh, and I think collectively we can all do that, utilizing and embracing things like Jason Wange when he'll come to you and show you, here are some of the things that I can do inside of your kitchen that's really going to help you utilize this space to the best of its abilities. And that's why you're a pro at what you do. Absolutely. That's the funnest part of what we do. Um, Problem so solving. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I love it.
What else you want? Leave us with something. What do you want to leave us with here? Leave you with something. Um, you know what I would say? In whatever you're doing, whatever we're doing, and anyone serving food to create whatever end goal for their clients, to create whatever goal for their families, you can never stop dreaming. You've always got to keep that dream. Um, and, you know, utilize tools like visualization, affirmation, just to keep going towards it. it you know, without a dream, you die. And, uh, and everything we do, you, me, all the guests, everybody listening, yep. keep, keep the dream alive. Blessings. Yeah. Blessings. You guys, it. too. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. See, Jason Wayne. Great. Man. Thank you, Jason. One of the classiest guys in the business. I always look forward to seeing him. He has a smile on his face and um, just here to help out. And that's what it's all about. Community, family, and hard work and dedication. Can't go wrong. Truly can't go wrong. That will raise the ship up any day of the week. Yes, it Okay, does. we're going to continue on. In the next segment, I'm going to bring Emma Nemechek over. And Emma Nemechek from the Omni Interlock, and she is such a woman about the world. Making cotton candy over there. She's I got love it. I hope we've got that on video, folks. Get to our Facebook page. When I'm reincarnated, I want to be Emma Nemechek. I don't know if it can happen. Oh, I just want to be her fork. <laughs> <laughs> or her mixing bowl. Yeah. Okay, let's take a break. We'll be right back with Chef Emma Nemechek right here on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Choose your path through Cyberland. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook for all the fun photos and videos. Just search The Modern Eater or check out the website, themoderneater.com. You probably want to eat healthy. But getting enough organic fruits and vegetables into your diet every day is not only time-consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic, vine-ripened fruits and vegetables, powerful enzymes and probiotics, and energizing herbs, all in a convenient capsule or powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. Hi, I'm naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, and I invented Texas Superfood almost 20 years ago with one goal in mind— to help people like you who lead busy lives get the all-natural nutrition that every one of us needs and deserves. So if you can't, won't, or don't eat all your organic fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. See our full line of quality nutritional products at texassuperfood.com or call us at 855-TEXAS-55. That's 855-TEXAS-55. texassuperfood.com. Colleen Ferreira here with the Colorado Chefs Association. You've probably heard the excitement. This year, we are creating a stir in the culinary community. This is your personal invitation to join us on our constant culinary adventure. Let us open up our network to you and help you grow professionally. Whether you are a chef, purveyor, brewer, baker, we are here to build your brand, your business, and connect you with Colorado's culinary community. Join us. I'd love to hear from you. Email me, Colleen, at acfcoloradochefs.org. Hey, chef friends. It's Little Rich here from Rockalitas Tortillas. Rockalitas, known for hyper-local, innovative, and healthy tortillas and chips, served by Colorado's top chefs, and that's why we only use Colorado Mills sunflower oil. If you, too, want to serve the healthiest, most vibrant-tasting foods, you must use Colorado Mills. Colorado Mills is hyper-local, Colorado-grown, cold-pressed in Lamar, Colorado. Whether you bake, fry, or saute, get your Colorado Mills today. Available through Shamrock, Growers Organic, and Don Foods. For the best oil in the business, use Colorado Mills. Hey, pizza lovers. It's your pizza guy here, Jason McGovern, with Crush Pizza and Tap right here in Denver, Colorado. With your help, let's make pizza great again. Come into Crush Pizza and Tap for our award-winning pizza, wings, and local beer. But we're serving up three styles of pizza for you to crush. Dig into our Chicago deep dish with sauce on top of the cornmeal crust. And don't forget about our Sicilian, that's right, with cheesy crisp edges and that soft, soft crust. Don't forget about America's pizza. How could you do that? Crush Pizza and Taps hand-tossed pizza will take your taste buds back, back, back to that neighborhood pizzeria you loved as a kid. You like deals? Come in and mention The Modern Eater and get a buy one, get one free on our hand-tossed pizzas any day of the week. Man, that's good. Lastly, don't forget to crush our award-winning smoked wings. They're Little Rich approved and loved by everyone. Crush Pizza and Taps conveniently located at 1200 West 38th Avenue, just minutes from downtown. Come and crush pizza with us. We've been making pizza great again since 2012. It's Crush Pizza and Tap. 
Want to bake the best? Bake with the best. Little Rich here from Rockalitas Tortillas and the Modern Eater. Our wraps fold cold and don't break open, yet they're soft and delicious. What's my secret? Ardent Mills. Organic, ancient, and heirloom grains like quinoa, spelt, and more. Locally headquartered in Denver, Colorado, Ardent Mills provides the industry's broadest range of traditional and organic flours, whole grains, customized blends, and specialty products dedicated to providing the culinary industry with the next grains and unique plant-based ingredients. I love Ardent Mills, and I know you will, too. To bake the best, you must use the best. Learn more at ardentmills.com. Right, here we go. Brother Luck from Colorado Springs. All right, you ready? <laughs> Owner of 4 by Brother Luck and Lucky Dumplings. I mean, he's, he's a very, very impressive man. Yeah. On iHeartRadio. Thank you. Yes, back at it. Man, <laughs> hail, the hail is coming down in yes. the Mile High City. Or as we learned on road trip, Brian. The white combine. The white, yep, the white combine. And, and the scary and sad thing is right now, we got a lot of stuff in the fields for these farmers. And when we have hail here, we never know how that translates up and down the front I range. Know, people, I mean, Well, people bitch about their gardens with their, you know, magnolias. Yeah, you know, think about a, a head of lettuce that you've been, well, you put in the ground crop, 45 yeah. days ago yeah. that, you know, you've got three acres of it and all of a sudden you're going to watch something cut it to the ground and get zero revenue hello kate Lacroix on facebook is jim going to dangle his meal on the balcony uh maybe <laughs> he'll take a picture of that uh dan lorenz uh, our guests they chimed in on facebook it's still driving you guys were on the but you're on the radio in the truck I think Jay reached out and said, uh, how much longer? And, and got to an answer back, inching along. Inching along. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's a, it's not necessarily a term of uh, time measurement, but of That's right. actual movements. <laughs> Chef Chris Dijon, Chef Jeff Jabot, uh, Gordon, Brandon Camp on Facebook, Doug Eulin, a, and a great farmer right there, the Eulins, all on Facebook. Good to see you there, Doug Eulin, Brandon Camp, as always. Uh, Doug Eulin, here's a fact for you. Lamar, Colorado, 630 K-Hound reaches to Lamar, Colorado because he listens to us on the dial there. Nice. Uh, Tuan nice. Well, Law. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Eugene Brown. What's up with you, man? That's on Facebook. Chef uh, J.P. Krause also. So active on Facebook. Love to see you guys. Chef Emma Nemechek making gold right now. Hello. I just, I just love, Emma, it is so great to see you. I just, thank I you. love to see you. You have this smile that lights up the room always just I to see you can we, have, you. can we have the signature hello <laughs> i can't do it you have to start jay has it. to show jay. you something yeah she goes uh hello <laughs> there you go <laughs> nice to be back thank you for having me emma what's up what, what have you been doing um been quite busy uh, i just uh, came back from texas uh, we had a re-grand opening in one of our um uh, flagship properties in Texas in Austin, and I was uh, chosen to be one of the four um, pastry chefs um, company wide to represent pastry, basically. So it was an honor. Congratulations, so, that's yeah, huge. Yeah, you. congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, well, all I see is they put three other people with Emma. You know, that's, that's all I Aww. You set the standard, hello. Emma. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello. You set the standard, Emma, not only just as a person and your talent and what you do. A lot of people don't know that Emma had a past life doing a lot of other things before she even decided to be a chef. Exactly. What did you, what were you doing in that? So I was in uh, finance before in corporate. So I was in, I used to work in a cruise ship before when I was younger. And then I met my husband there and then we settled down and came to Colorado. He grew up here. And then I became a uh, office manager, and then I became a payroll admin uh, with the Dish Network, you know, the satellite oh, TV yeah. programming. So I was in the finance department. Uh, Down on Old Santa Fe? E no, it, the corporate. Uh, corporate, okay. Yeah, so at Lone Tree. Lone Tree, okay. So, and then things just happen in your life that you don't want to happen, and so I just said, I went up, you know, I left my work, and I went back to culinary school, and here I am. Six years later. I love it. She followed her dream, though. Yep. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, you get to a point where, you know, things don't run the way that you want it, but then I'm like, hey, listen, I can control some of this stuff. So that's what I did. I've always wanted to become a pastry chef, and I chased that dream. 
Yeah. Not so. only did you become one, you set the standard. Oh, I mean, well, thank truly. you. Um, there are very few people, and uh, with all due respect, Chef Keegan Gerhard, they, the gals like this, man, they give you run. You the, oh, you're, yeah. You're, you're the type of person that keeps people wanting to learn more. Oh, thank you. Like keeping them on their toes, They're constantly evolving. And as we see your creations at all times, at the Omni Interlock, and so many things to cover because – uh, I see a lot of great stuff coming out of the Omni. But number one, on Monday, on will Monday. be the ACF, Colorado Chefs Association. Exactly. Uh, golf tournament. Yes. Coming uh, this Monday, July 15th. So I, I think tickets are still I available. I'm not sure. Sold and it's out. at the Omni, right? sold out or Yes. Show. It, is it at will the Omni. be at the uh, Omni Interlock and um, Golf Course. So we have our hotel, and our golf course is obviously on the other side. Well, it's a big property, but we have a golf course. Um, 18 or 27 hole. I don't play golf, but I would uh, would like for you guys to come join us. I don't know where I'm looking at. I feel like there's a camera here, but come and hello. (laughs) And yeah, well, I guess tickets are done and sold out, but it'll be a fun way to help out the um, upcoming you know, chefs uh, of Colorado, and here, one of them, I brought one of my J1 intern. Um, I'd like for you to come and see how it is. Uh, so that's, uh, he's from the Philippines, like myself. And so, you know, we are commit, committed to, like, helping uh, young and upcoming chefs of Colorado. So. What does J1 mean? J1, I'm not particularly, I don't know the exact meaning, but um, he comes from a different country. They come from a different country, apply for a J1 visa, uh, and then they come here uh. to learn, not really necessarily as a coursework per se, but they come here and see, you know, like, what we're doing here, and then they bring that back home and then hopefully grow from their nice. experience as part of their college uh, degree or something. That's awesome. Yeah. It is That's also, awesome. I've seen that um, uh, their Pros- Prosper Farms, Prosper Meats, was up there with uh, Chef Fernando Ruiz. Yes, uh, it, they had a competition yesterday, and Kevin C- Galaba was there as well. But unfortunately, I was on my day off, but they were there, and Parasign, I think is the name of the competition. But yeah, did he win? I'm not sure. Uh, th- it was somebody like Chef Mike sure. White, I think, won uh, or something like that. But yeah, Omni. so sad to uh, miss it. But yeah, Dominique's <laughs> really making a splash. Oh, uh, thank you. Your involvement with the Colorado Chefs Association, everybody loves. And as you get big, busier and busier, you're going to need someone to start managing your schedule, right. Emma. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love it. I love what, what I'm doing and hopefully mentoring other people, young people, uh, upcoming chefs. Are, it's great, too. So. All right, well, let's talk food real quick. Yeah. Okay. So what I have uh, for you since um, cherries are now in season, and so this is like Colorado cherry. So I di- I'm doing cherry uh, dessert three ways or four ways, I think. So uh, as you can tell, this is like, I don't know if you can tell it from over there. Uh, there are two cherries together. Jay's got you on camera there. So there are two cherries together. And um, inside it is cherry mousse and then white chocolate um, chantilly and then chocolate cake underneath. So when you... Cut it open into that. You'll have three different kinds of flavors, and then it's sitting atop uh, cherry, uh, cherry um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. So everything cherry. It's a note to like uh, Colorado cherry. Let's destroy cherry. that with Brian's mouth. All oh right. So um, let's hands. Yes. Just oh. Just hand away. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna hand it over there. <laughs> Brian, get into that real quick. <laughs> oh my. That looks so fantastic. <laughs> Emma looks delicate. It looks, I, I mean, it, it looks, looks like so delicate bizarre. as he's asking me, just put your teeth in it. I just want to yeah, sink it. Go, go it for it. Oh, man. Go Look, for it. Everybody's looking. Well, you make it seem just so bizarre and weird. You could have just picked it up with your fingers. <laughs> kind of there you go. You just go. You Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, mm. <laughs> now that was weird. <laughs> 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 so you have the tartness of the cherry and then so milk good, chocolate, Emma. you know, in the mousse in there. So, yeah. Can I have your rag? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Thanks. So. Deliciousness. Oh, Thank my God. Thank you. <laughs> that was good for my birthday. Your lips go good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Belated your happy birthday. Thank you, Emma. We love having you here. We'll Thank see you Thank you for soon. having us. Yeah. Emma, you'll have you. to look Monday. at his birthday card. I get. I had it just made for him. It's oh, just. No. I got to look at it. It is just for him. It okay. is. Uh, oh, it's a classic. <laughs> it is a classic. I've known him a little while now. 
Emma, we love you. Mm. Thank you for very much. All right, much. we're going to call you. Carly Smith for the next segment. I just switched everything around tonight. And Carly Smith, the fairy gut mother, she's going to come up next. We're going to go over her menu. And then at uh, 7 o'clock, we will talk to biker Jim Pittenger. No dogs allowed. His dinner is going to be coming up here on the uh, 30th of July. Tickets available, summerdinnerseries.com. But not many left. How come you're eating it like I did now? I'm gently eating it. Forget you. I All didn't right. just shove it in there. Like. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> it was cold. Oh, it's it good. Was... I, trust me. I, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> it was so good. Mm. All right. We'll be back in a flash on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Live in 340. Through Cyberland. But don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook for all the fun photos and videos. Just search The Modern Eater or check out the website, themoderneater.com. If you're running out of room in your home, like maybe you're a hoarder or you've got some new kids, those things are kind of the same, really, right? I've got some great news for you. Mortgage rates are incredibly low, making it easy and affordable to upsize your space. Hey guys, it's Ross Kaminsky for American Financing, and now is the time to move into your. For- okay, the number that you sent me. Yeah. based more. Okay, and I'm gonna move the uh, live to the first break of the second hour, because the next break is the top of the hour. And continuously growing with our real. Okay. Okay. You into a home for less. I'm talking about low rates, custom home loans, and again, a business that was founded right here in Denver and remains Colorado's home for home loans because they know this market better than anybody so make the call today there are never any upfront okay just justin for right now five seven thousand three oh three six nine five seven thousand or online at americanfinancing.net nmls 182334 regulated by the division of real estate hey it's peter allman with south river aquaponics as a chef and aquaponics farmer i get the importance of conserving our limited water supply Did you know Colorado is suffering from the most severe drought since 2012? Water shortages are very real, especially to Colorado farmers. Now here's the good news. Aquaponic farming uses 90% less water than traditional farming, while producing four and a half times more food per square foot. Using traditional farming techniques, farmers would flood their fields with large quantities of water, leaving much of this water underutilized and just plain wasted. But because aquaponics is a recirculating system, the only water used is what the plants uptake and some very minor evaporation. South River Aquaponics has been running a 55,000 gallon system year round for four years, and we use less than 500 gallons of water per day. Education is very important to us here at South River Aquaponics. I invite you to learn more about aquaponics at SouthRiverAquaponics.com. South River Aquaponics, the future of farming. Hey Colorado, this is Brian Freeman, owner of Growers Organic and a host on the Modern Eater Talk Show. Growers Organic is a Colorado sourcing company who provides Colorado's greatest chefs with the best organic produce. I've been partnering with local and regional farms for the last 20 years, and our returning customers know they can count on us over and over again. Chefs who receive the highest rating on Good Food 100 choose Growers Organic for their organic produce needs because we're experts at bridging the gap between the farm and the table. Join us in the organic revolution and go organic with Growers Organic. Look us up. Justin's there. Organic.com. Hey, one minute. Johnson here, owner of Rome Sausage, your hyper local source for all things sausage awesomeness. My family is proud to carry on the fine traditions of Rome's founder, Jerry Rome, by producing a variety of amazing sausage in small batches with an eye on quality, not quantity. Every batch is made here in the great state of Colorado by hand mixing spices, utilizing lean cuts of pork to make an outstanding product. Sourcing ingredients and materials locally, we are committed to supporting local vendors, chefs, restaurants, and the entire Colorado food scene. Getting hungry yet? Brats, Italian, breakfast, hot Polish, green chili, chicken apple, and the world's best chorizo. You can source all of our sausage through a variety of food service distributors. If your distributor doesn't carry it, call us. We'll come direct. You want a custom item? We'll do that too. Samples, and of course, sausage jokes, can be had by contacting me directly at chris at romesausage.com or by phone at 303-296-7663. The modern eater loves Rome sausage, and I know you will too. Feed me now! This is the Modern Eater Show. That's right, boy! I'm starving! And now it's time for... Hey, you're hot and Justin's there. You have five minutes. Keep on feeding you. Kill people. Brought to you by... Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions, award-winning competition cooks and purveyors of specialty barbecue supplies right here in Denver, Colorado. ProudSoulsBBQ.com. Feed me all night long. Okay, back at it, the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Greg Hollenbach, Jay Parker, 
Our uh, 615 guests are here drenched. Sure. Right. We'll catch them in the next hour. We put it some time aside for them. That's yeah. fantastic. I mean, you're coming down from a farm in the Black Forest and uh, weather. You never know what, to, you're, you what you're going to get. It's Colorado. Straight to the phone line. Chef Justin Brunson on with us, and he's probably uh, working away at Old Major. Uh, Chef, how are you? I'm good. How are you fellas doing tonight? I'm doing good. It's great, man. My mom's here. How can it not be good? Yo, what's up, Pat? <laughs> what's up, Pat? Justin says. Hey, uh, Chef, so it, August 20th, I know it's a little ways out, but Summer Dinner Series, I got to tell you, we're looking forward to your dinner. And uh, it's almost sold out. Just a couple of tickets left, and that's what we love to hear. Great. We're looking forward to coming down and cooking in the studio and hanging out with you all, too. You're going to bring it, man. I know you are. Just like always. Yeah, we're going to cook some delicious. We do. It's funny because you talk to Justin and you ask him, just come as a civilian, come hang out. No, it, 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 Justin wants to be feeding people. You <laughs> want? Where does that come from, Justin? Is that something like as a kid that you just loved putting, you know, smiles on people's faces? Where does that come from with you? <laughs> Justin? Yes. Uh, so I was talking about how I ask you to come as a, civil, a civilian sometimes, and you say, you know what, I love to cook. I just want to – I feel weird if I'm not cooking for people. Where does that come from with your DNA? Oh, I don't know. I think it's just the, the Jewish grandmother inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, is that that Jewish grandmother from Iowa? Is that where that Jewish grandmother yeah. came from? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't mean, know. I just – I don't know. It feels weird to be hanging out. I like to be moving and chucking and cooking and having fun. I'm pretty hyperactive. It gives me something to do with my energy other than just uh, eat and entertain folks. So uh, definitely cooking cooking is uh, very soothing to my soul. So I think that's why I like to do it uh, when we're all hanging out. I know you're a seat-of-the-pants kind of guy, but you rely on delicious ingredients that stand for themselves, and you really like to showcase that. And we have your favorites, a uh, Yoder Grill. I don't know if anybody knows it or not, and so sorry if I'm telling a secret, but Justin went to Proud Souls, purchased himself a Yoder Grill. He has one in his backyard right now. Uh, but, Justin, can you, can you spend uh, two minutes just talking about what people can look forward to when they dine with us on your dinner um, yeah. August 20th? So, I mean, we are going to have the best of everything. There's going to be great vegetables. Uh, so we're going to keep a bunch of local local produce, corn, squash, onions. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a lot of fun, beautiful herbs. So we're going to bring a bunch of river American meat steaks. Cut some sausages from River Bear. We're gonna fire up that yoder you got got from Proud Souls over there. We should but probably do I some do rabbit, huh? Fire. Yeah, we'll probably do some rabbit from our stand up chain over at Lake of the River. Uh, I'm probably fire up some of Zach sunflower oil and do some fried because everybody loves fried food. That's true. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. Just you know, kind of keep it super local and fun. Uh, you know, pair it with some great cocktails and wine and beer and just have a hoot hey uh joining us he's on in the next segment but we have one minute of crossover here it's uh biker jim saying hello to you justin oh oh hey sexy uh, hey what's up jim how are you sir well i am really good i wanted to thank you in advance for those rabbit livers i'm going to be using at the james beard house so i just kind of wanted to give you a heads up especially he since over those rabbits live a very Life and their livers are succulent. Uh, can't wait. From Doing. Salida, Colorado to the James Beard house. How yeah. cool is it's, that? It's amazing that any of us get to the James Beard. Okay, it's amazing that I'm getting to the James Beard house. <laughs> <laughs> You've already cooked there, haven't you, Justin? Uh, yeah, I've, I have cooked there a few times. Yeah, I was lucky enough to be invited uh, for the Art of Charcuterie dinner, and then I've cooked there a few times with uh, the, what they call the Pork All-Stars. It was really quite the experience with Paul Kahn and Jose Garces. Oh, when they came to me to ask to cook with them, I thought they wanted me to carry those guys' knives around. Uh, no, I've seen you in a kitchen before. You know, uh, <laughs> you kind of rock it, man. Hey, so. Justin, I don't know if you're busy or not. We're going to continue this conversation past the top of the hour. We could say goodbye now, and we'll revisit uh, later. Or uh, you can hang on for just a couple of minutes, and, and we'll continue to shoot the breeze. It's up to you. Yeah, man, but uh, you know what? Why don't you guys have fun? Um, 
We'll do it. We'll catch up soon. Right. Chef Justin Brunson and uh, Biker Jim up next on the Modern Eater Show. KRFX H Denver. This is Denver's Talk Station 630 KHOW with Ross Kaminsky Mornings. Dan Kaplis Afternoons at 4. KHOW Denver. This report is sponsored by upsjobs.com. A crash on Southbound I-25 at 104th Avenue, causing some delays back to 120th Avenue. Another wreck, this one's on northbound I-25 before Hampton. It's blocking the left shoulder, traffic getting by in the right lanes, but expect a lot of brake lights all the way back to 225. Eastbound US-36 at Wadsworth, it's going to be closed for the weekend now. Crews trying to repair the buckle of lanes. They're hoping to have one lane open by Monday morning. And U.S. 6 remains closed through the canyon between Golden and Highway 119 for a fatal crash investigation and vehicle recovery. Taking a look at our forecast, thunderstorms tonight with a low of 64. Tomorrow, sunshine early, then a chance for more storms in the afternoon and a high of 95. Currently, it's 79 at Coors Field. With the traffic and weather, I'm Jake Ryan, 630 KHOW. Want a great job with excellent benefits and flexible hours? Then join UPS, now hiring full-time city drivers in Commerce City. Driver must be 21 or older with a valid CDLA license. Apply now at upsjobs.com. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe it's because they use Babbel, the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Hey, Jay. Or anyone? It's you speaking right away, whether you're learning. She uh, ignored my call when I just tried to call her. Carly? Carly? Yeah. I just texted her and, and, okay. and wanted to know, is it okay? Is it 730 okay? Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Just making sure. Okay. Cool. Let me know three minutes from now. Three minutes? Three minutes? Yes, sir. He said I could start having real life conversations right away. It was so fast. Now I'm speaking Spanish. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I just got your text that said 730. Language learning app in Europe. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get conversational in a new language like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Go to Babbel.com or download the app and try it for free. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, or download the app to try it for free. That's Babbel.com. As you approach retirement, what if you could easily pay off your mortgage and access tax-free cash without repaying a loan? It is possible. With a reverse mortgage from American Financing, homeowners 62 years and older can live a stress-free, mortgage-free retirement without losing ownership of your home. You just have to keep up with property taxes and homeowner's insurance, which I'm sure you're doing anyway. It's a solution worth considering, especially if you want to postpone using your retirement savings or touching your Social Security or if you want to remain in your current home for years to come. At American Financing, their mortgage consultants are salary-based, so conversations are simple, straightforward, and honest. 
Let them answer your questions and help you identify the right financial solution for your retirement needs. Call them today at 303-695-7000. That's 303-695-7000 or online at AmericanFinancing.net. NMLS 182334, regulated by the Division of Real Estate. Americans are always on the move. They're in the car, at the office, working around the house. Americans refuse to sit still. So how do you connect with all of these moving targets? Easy, with radio. Radio reaches 93% of Americans every week, more than Google, Facebook, even television. Because, hey, who has the time to sit and watch TV? So when you want to connect with all those constantly moving adults, teens, and millennials, get to iHeartMedia.com and put AMFM Radio to work for your company. With PatriotSoftware.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time and money. Mike Cappell here, serial entrepreneur. We small business owners love dealing with payroll regulations and compliance issues. It's fun, exciting, adventuresome. And when we miscalculate and underpay our payroll taxes, well, the enjoyment we experience is nearly as much fun as gargling with razor blades. I mean, what's not to love? Well, small business owners, I'm sorry to report that my fifth company, Patriot Software, is going to deprive you of that payroll joy forevermore. It looks like you'll have to spend your weekends doing something other than cleaning up your payroll errors. We provide free setup, free support, guaranteed accuracy, and if you want us to deposit and file your payroll taxes for you, we can do that too. Just go to PatriotSoftware.com and enter promo code RADIO, and I'll give you two months of payroll processing free. That's PatriotSoftware.com. The following is a paid advertisement. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of KHOW, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. How about a bite to eat? It's time for the second course, hour number two of The Modern Eater. What are you hungry for? Here's to a meal we're all here for. Delicious and tasty. Now we're getting to the good stuff. With your hosts, Greg Hollenbeck, Jay Parker, and Freeman. I like how it cuts out. <laughs> we can do this. Yes, yes we are. Indeed. I just wanted to hear we're hot, man. I mean, we don't get to hear that very often <laughs> unless Mike or Jim's around us. Greg Hollenbach, Jay Parker, Brian Freeman, uh, Little Rich Snyder. I guess taking the night off tonight. And uh, Where the, is <laughs> Little Rich? I don't know where Little Rich is. I know, like Carmen Santiago. Where, is where in the world Rich? is Little Rich? Uh, his yeah. name's Mike or Jim. Oh, hi. Biker Jim Pittenger. And, oh, um, thank you so much for having me here. I, I, call, I call him Biker Jim the Truth Pittenger. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> want to <laughs> hear the truth, man, and, and I'll tell you. Uh, so, so it's like, hey, Jim, you seen any of our road trip videos? Yeah, you sound a very announcer Greg, and um, Brian is all over the place. And it was, you know, it was a total <laughs> mistake because I mistook Jay for you on the phone because <laughs> – you know, if I'm not seeing his lips move, I don't hear his voice. I hear your voice. Yeah, let's see. Mix it. Close your eyes, Jim. Close your eyes. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, you oh, well, you got it. Well, I was trying to do it then. He said that to me on the phone uh, yesterday, which, I, you know, it's one of those things to where it's like, for some, it's like you don't want to hear it. For whatever reason, well, I right? hate your voice. Well, <laughs> okay, well then you have. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> then you have a Show better reason. The love there, then you have Greg. a better reason for me. Like I was gonna say, I don't hate your voice by any stretch of the imagination, yeah. but because it's not mine, when somebody says, "Oh, you sound just like so and so," you're like, "Man, the, the heck with so and so. I'm me. Yeah. I, I don't want to sound like him. I didn't go that far as to like, uh. well, you, everything about you is disgusting, so I don't want to oh, be compared Jay, at all." You know, I love you, and we have to. Act you hate that. my voice, really? No, well, yeah. that explains explains a lot because I think it's probably a bit more jealous of your voice because of the size of your microphone, Jay. <laughs> that microphone you've got really adds a bottom to the whole. He'll tell you the truth. <laughs> so over the months, and that's why this community is awesome to watch it grow. And uh, biker Jim comes into the scene, and you know we knew each other little and get to know each other more. But truly, I, I can say. I have a friend. I have a new friend. And we both like to shave down and then up. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, so, we have so much in common. So many things that are similar. Um, but Jim's one of these guys to where you're in a point in time in your life to where you're pretty much unapologetic towards anything you do and your behavior. And, and it's just uh, Jim. I Jim, right? pretty much have to apologize for everything <laughs> I do. You know, I but don't, sober, I, how many years? Sober? Yeah. 
most of 37. I'm going to be 37 here pretty soon. So, so most of my life. Yeah, it's fair to say that was a lifetime ago. Yeah, but I used uh, up my get high privileges at a very young age. And, and here you are now to where, and I was telling this to my mom the other day. I said, did you, sober's the new high these days. Um, people are really getting off on just thinking clearly, being in control of things, um, not using that as a crutch to. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm just plumb out of excuses for my behavior then. <laughs> yes, you know, you just, are. You know, I should get. You know, I should be able to say, uh, I was drunk, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, so, I, so I, was, I get invited back to these speaking engagements. I tell but, people if if drunk Greg upset you. Please don't take it up with Sober Greg because he has no idea or can control anything Drunk Greg does. That's kind of take it I, out with Drunk Greg. Take I it up with Drunk Greg. And that's kind of how you got sober, wasn't it? Because you were that's like, I, I can't yeah. have these two, these two personalities. One. I'll put it this way. The state of Alaska supported my, de- you know, my <laughs> decision. Uh, decision to quit using drugs uh, 100%. So, so. so Repo Man Gone Culinary. And we talked. We talked earlier. But what? No, well, you know, was there I've something always cooked. I've cooked my whole life, okay. but you know, for a chef, I do make a very good car thief. Um, I read a lot of cookbooks. I'm pretty creative in the kitchen. I have no sense of smell, so basically, I have to cook by texture. Oh wow! And I taste by color. So most things the guys do in life are uh, female driven. Tax dollars. We're Whoa. A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. We're proud to be one the of the I'm, done. I'm, I'm, I'm in the working on something who right now. That people who owe <laughs> Jared thousand dollars help just as badly. Are the IRS doesn't so this care might be some weather involved. issues. They'll We're still dealing. garnish your wages. Is it an All I need is someone to give me an so update to tell me whether we're on the air. I, I, or no, thousands. we are not. Oh, but it just are we in free tax consultation. You're hearing to qualify, this is what we're we hearing. may even are, be able to reduce your tax debt down right to a small fraction of what you owe. Whatever. I don't so know what this is playing. Are we on a different line? Are we on ISDN 1? Are you there? Yes, Chair. Yes. 0552 and get tax problem resolved once and for all. That number again is 800-506-0552. So our return 800-506-0552. audio. 800-506-0552. Hey, pizza lovers. It's your pizza guy here. Jason McGovern with Crush Pizza and Tap right here in Denver, Colorado. With your help. Well, let's just keep it going on Facebook, though. Well, was that Max? Hedger? Yeah, well, let's exactly. Let's have this conversation continue yeah, here, gentlemen. The, these types of things when it comes to weather, you just live things and no man is master. Oh, sure. So. Blame the weather. Uh, well, what we we saw like? Jay messing around with the dial. <laughs> it was his big <laughs> microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Jay and his big mic. Messing it's everything that. up again. Uh, as we continue on Facebook as well, and, and uh, we want to thank folks for tuning in. Well, how cool is this? So Lamar, Colorado, there's a gentleman, Doug. Uh, Ulin, who's harvesting wheat right now on a tractor, tuned in to us on a tractor in Lamar, Colorado. Listening They're a little rich show. approved. Okay, I got you. You ready to go in 10 seconds? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. You, you didn't want to talk Justin about the tractor. No, I totally do. No, crush pizza with that. Okay. We've been making pizza great again since 2012. Okay, you're hot. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Uh, Biker Jim doesn't believe it, but it's the weather. Blame it on the uh, weather, Jim. No, I believe we needed that Crush Pizza commercial again because they've been making pizza great again since 2012. You like, I like it. Was there a kind <laughs> of a, just a source pizza, pizza spot there for a second? <laughs> Have you been? Crush Pizza? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. <laughs> it's crushing it. it. Truly is. Oh, geez. Right, right there. Right there. Real fast. But here, I want to go somewhere different with you. Okay. I want to go and ask you about Biker this. Jim Pittenger, Studio Kitchen, Colorado, Summer Dinner Series, summerdinnerseries.com. I'm, I'm getting a scam call. Should we okay. see what they have? No, <laughs> maybe later. So here's where I was going to go okay. with you, Jim. Um, this, we're, we're looking at this article about restaurant growth and that it's, uh, it's at the end. Well, the no, growth. I think it's an interesting thing, and, and I threw it to Jim earlier. We've, here's the headline, uh, Washington Post. We've just lived through the greatest period of restaurant growth in U.S. history. Here's why it's ending. Just to give you a summary of, of what uh, Laura Riley from the Washington Post had to say is that there, we're coming into a, a great storm of not only generations of folks with the sweet spot being 35 to 54 of folks that go out to eat dinner with that disposable income. Folks that are older than that have other things they're concentrating with their money on to live their lives out. Folks younger than that have student loans. That the millennials will be coming into that uh, disposable income type of thing 
but their care and their need to have these boutique types of restaurants and the things that endear us with it, the sourcing, the food, the stories, that all of that falls short with them. They could care less about it, and they want the best bang for their buck. They want the cheapest food that they possibly can find. But do they still want the experience of going out to a nice restaurant? Not necessarily. Or, yeah, you know. and see, and I totally disagree with that because here's, in my opinion, the reality to that statement that you just were making there, summarizing, is, is that they have increased. I don't know if many people know this, but the statistics right now, we used to eat out three times a day. Or three times a week, rather. Sorry. Three times a week. The millennials are eating out five times a week. Right. So that's a stat. So they, they push eating? that. Are they eating well, but see, and I would, I, would, I would agree with the notion that they want some, they have more purpose and meaning. Because if you look at when I'm hiring oh, someone man, who's I younger. Brought this thing. We gave Rip for an hour on this. Well, well and I, and but I, it's we interesting. All, we all have an opinion on that. I yeah. Mean, look at, Witchers. you know, where we're here in Denver. You know, I mean, new restaurants open. Uh, every, uh, every no, one days. just did. Yeah, no. Every I mean, two days. You know, two, two minutes. 270 <laughs> restaurants opened last year. Yeah. And of those 270, 45 other restaurants closed. You know, so I don't think that. Here's point has happened here yet. It right. might be happening on, you know, on the, on the left and right coasts. Here, but I don't think it's happening with the millennials no. because here's Boy, why here's we're, we're too though. food involved. Here's yeah, the, and they want a purpose. That's what every millennial I've talked to, they'll work for less money. But they want a purpose to know that they're they doing they something. They won't work in a restaurant. But, but no, no. I mean, yeah. Here, here is another point to this article yeah. that I find fascinating. The folks that – the things that we believe in, the sourcing, the products, the people, the procedures – with the slim margins, seeing minimum wage increase, being able to compensate people to have staffing, be able to think outside of the box, concepts that are so easily ripped off now and perfected by people that have the means to be able to do them, that the wherewithal of the folks that have come into this business during this great renaissance of restaurants, they don't have it in the tank anymore. So is it going to be more... They don't want to deal with it. Is it going to be more important for people to get, you know, that organic milk, you know... They want it fast uh, uh, as it possibly can. The delivery is, is taking off. Uh, uh, so those satellite restaurants that we discussed absolutely. a little bit earlier. Yeah, but I don't think that that's, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think we're just thinking about being smarter. I think in a restaurant, I was just speaking to someone who was telling me their rents are like in the $50 a, a foot. It, listen, that stuff's in crazy when you're trying to squeak out a 3% you know, or 5% margin in a restaurant at, at net. So that's where I think we're seeing people be innovative, but I don't think, Greg, I think that they do want convenience. If the future's like Uber Eats and DoorDash and all these, uh, but they're taking 25%. And Which is why a lot of these satellite kitchens are popping up. Yeah. I mean, you're getting some restaurateurs, some good restaurateurs that are building their own kitchens. They're staffing it. They're delivering their own food. But concepts and ingredients are going out the door. I don't see. I don't. I don't uh, see that. I would tell you. I don't see that. I think they still want local. Is still booming. Someone will buy something local over they will over organic. Right now, in our circle, it, 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 yes. But actually, no. Nationally, I just read a a report out of a company in Boulder that that gives data on this kind of consumer spending around food, and they said local is still higher than organic right now. And that's where I would see this is why I disagree with this, because well, I really be think that people still care well, about it, it. I think it's just the, the fact that the education around food is so much greater than it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, and people are paying attention to what they eat. People are paying attention to what's happening in the world. You know, what kind of a carbon footprint does it take to get those oranges delivered to you in the middle of Christmas? You know, yep. so um, people are just getting tired. People are getting tired. People I don't think. Tired. I don't know, I don't know man. man. It's too hard for yeah. these people because those ty that type of entre the entrepreneurial spirit, that type of drive, that type of want, that focusing okay. on something that will actually make you money. So You can so, do it. You can, so I think you there, can do both. You know, and, I, and there are some people out there I've seen, you know, I, I like to play in those fields whenever I can that actually make money doing what they're doing. But looking at some people with the full service sit down restaurants evolving into a quick service restaurant. Yep. You know, a friend of mine, she had three restaurants and now she got rid of all the full service and there are three quick service restaurants Fine, and she's killing it. Have you been over to Lou's? 
Uh, Speaking of, lose Italian over off of Downing in 36. Uh, is that Josh's? Uh-huh. Um, I have not. Okay. But, so I, I was but, there the other day, and I was shocked because it's a deli right on Downing. Uh-huh. They only had three tables, three little two tops in front of the r- restaurant. No, it was all grab and go. And I'll tell you uh, one of the best chicken parmesans if you, sandwich if I've had. I'll tell you right for, there for that things are changing. I, I don't know what does. You're not going to go into new concepts. You're not going to have that feel, that vibe, that full restaurant concept around you to where it's innovative, to where you're thinking outside the box, to where you're getting great. I, but, but then go look at Sartos. Go look at yeah. uh, what uh, Sartos is right doing now. over here. It hasn't happened yet. Well, no, but he's got a deli yet. that's all about during the day. Ooh, you're going to come up and. Good conver- we'll continue. Yeah, this one. I love this Jim, one. Two minutes thank you. on thank uh, you, thank summer you. dinner series and your cooking, the menus. No dogs allowed. No dogs allowed. That's now, was that just it, was that no dogs as far as in the crowd, or was that no dogs as in the kitchen? <laughs> uh, no dogs on the plate. That's on the plate, plate. okay. Yeah. What know, are you gonna I mean, do? I, I do get an opportunity once in a while to cook something other than hot dogs, and I embrace <laughs> these chances here. So uh, I'm trying to do something a little bit different, something that uh, I haven't had before, and something that I, I okay, we've had chicken fried steak before. We haven't had it the way that I'm going to make it. Uh, and there's still a little mystery involved in how that's coming. So those of you that have tickets, awesome. You'll, you'll get a surprise. Those that don't have tickets, there's a few left. Yep. You might want to check Just it out. Uh, you know, teasing some of, the, uh, some of the apps that we're doing. Uh-huh. I'm doing a, a trumpet middle food. I can't pronounce that word. It's a French method of confiting mushrooms. Oh. I've made a sake black vinegar gastrique for them. Mm, it just um, tastes tomato good. bacon powder. Which, if you've been to Biker Gyms before, you've seen the tomato bacon powder, but you've never seen it on a confit trumpet mushroom. It's really amazing. Um, dessert will be really fun. Uh, you know I love making I dessert. know you love yeah, making I'm, desserts. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a 21-layer Baumkuchen. Wait, people are like, what, Jim? Okay, maybe I'll just do a, uh, maybe I'll do something else. No, a Baumkuchen. A Baumkuchen is, it's interesting because it's both a German cake and a Japanese cake. It's a tree cake oh, really? because it has so many layers on it. Oh, tra- yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Traditionally, they're made on a spit um, with, like, gallons of batter. Um, I won't be doing the traditional version, but I'll be doing <laughs> something. Why would that, you? Because <laughs> I don't have, yeah, I mean, really. You know. yeah. um, although I think if you could, you should, if you have that kind of equipment, I can make something pretty damn fine otherwise. I love it. You know? I love it. Um, it's my, almost like a Yuletide log. At least. At least. I'm not done yet. You're, you're going you're gonna to go at it, aren't you? I am. And I'm going to hopefully get into the kitchen a little before, like, you know, 45 minutes before dinner is served. You but said. Not, not for nothing yeah. today, Greg. Do we have some bigger news about that dinner? I was, I was sort of thought there, there might be some uh, hidden gems in that dinner. No? No? Did we go a different direction? When, when you say hidden gems, I don't know of what you talk. Well, that was going to be part of it. So, Next time. Um, yeah, what, what I'd really like to do would be to do a, a sober dinner series, you know, or at least one. I know plenty of people out there that don't drink but love to eat. They're tired of paying the extra money for that, you know, that cocktail pairing, sure. that wine pairing. Yeah. So we're going to pair it with some not tails. I'm trying to come up with a good Why don't we do like that, that and get Gabata yeah. over here? And, oh, yeah. uh, or what's his name? Tell me. Is Kevin? Kevin, Kevin G- Galaba. Galaba. He, Galaba. He, he and I have already Go ahead, chatted. Jay. Now, wait a minute. I've been quiet for most of everything that's been happening, and I'm trying to get cameras <laughs> and everything. And then but Brian. What, what did you call Kevin Galaba just now? Good God. G- Gabata. Gabata or something. I mean, I don't even know what you said. but I don't either. You, you know. <laughs> you know me with names, I'm, man. I, if it's you, not written that's how down. You, like, listen, that's how you know. You, uh, I would almost think that Brian does that on purpose to <laughs> draw do. attention to yeah. himself. But the fact that he blows through it, and he's <laughs> yeah. on to the next thought before yeah. he even realized there was an accident you know he, and he's just like what who's who who's dead i, I don't do you it's like you killed him on the way through and then yeah. you just started on the next I thing i get terribly embarrassed too and it's not even me but i get terribly embarrassed i think it's just a ploy kevin, to check to see if you're paying any attention jay really. is kevin on facebook live right now oh god kevin galaba thank you sir uh, i mean here's the deal is that we do that's important it's very important. I think we should do that back. here, though. I think we should announce this. We should. This should be something well, right here at the let's modern. Let's announce that we're thinking about it. <laughs> All right, we will. There's one other thing that we're yep. going to do here in the not-too-distant. Um, no, waffles. Oh, waffles. Yes. We're going to have a waffle-off. 
You know, Ooh. so uh, uh, a chef buddy of mine, Greg Boynton, he and I have had, we've had competitions before. Um, and I'll bring it. Uh, that's one thing that I have a scratch recipe since I've been young. Oh, you want to be involved? Since 21 yeah. years old, I've had the same recipe, and everyone always flips when I do it. Oh, okay. So I, I'm waffles. in. All right. I'm in. All right. So I'm in. Three chefs, three waffles, three sides, 30 people, 30 bucks. Proceeds go to Extended Hands of Hope. And the, the, date, wow. the date to Got be it. announced. Got it. I'm in on that. All right. On, let's do it on a, like a Sunday morning here, so, or maybe not the, the holy day, but we could do it any old day. Any weekend day, I think, would, here would be great. Yeah. So like a in Saturday, the morning? Like a like, Saturday night? We'll yeah, the, okay. Well, yeah, Saturday for waffles night. for dinner? Yep, we'll do it. Okay. All right. That's done. Uh, that's going to be in the works. So can, I, can I go cook now? To the yes, please. Up. He needs to get those I've chicken fried, there's there's chicken fried tenderloin. Steak. Yeah, tenderloin chicken fried chicken steak. Fried that steak. should just blow I, t- your I mind. tenderized them, so they're tender tenderloins. Oh, they were, oh, what you were doing over tender there. Loin. You were pounding it out. I, I like to see it. Oh, <laughs> that was, you know, sometimes low-hanging fruit is the sweetest, but I'll leave that one for you professionals. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go cook. We love you, Jim. Thanks, boys. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Jim Pittenger. Okay. Um, hard to top that, really, but uh, uh, I Car- love it. Carly I love Smith it. may try. We're going to get on uh, on the horn with Carly Smith. We're going to go over her menu for a couple of minutes, and then we'll go down the home stretch, and we'll talk about meat and beer. Corner Post Meats will be up at about 7.30, 7.32, and then um, – We've got Jack Diebolt in the house. Oh, my and gosh. And this wow. lager, he's got a light lager, folks. Perfect. This, Thank you. Uh, someone Diebolt. who's doing craft beer makes a light lager just right off the moon. The Fairy Gut Mother, she's coming in next. She'll be on the phone from uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook for all the fun photos and videos. I have no idea, no. It, it honestly might have been the weather. Um, hey, guys. John Elway here for America. I mean, I, 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 you guys just cut out. I mean, it just stopped all of a sudden. Home team, American financing. Okay, so do you want me to combine these two breaks? We have Element Knife Co., F. Johnson Design, and Bruise. Okay, okay. Through every step of the process, offering one. Okay to the greatest saving you have a live in this one too because i moved it from the first hour I'll do that. they're here to take care you want to okay that'll be in a minute 27 do you want me to do you want me to combine these two breaks though because carly and don't worry about combining the breaks i'll break it about 30 okay programs that may offer you a shorter term cash out for a remodel so live in 110 i'm calling carly right now about a new home purchase or refinance, call 303-695-7000. That's 303-695-7000 or AmericanFinancing.net. American Financing, Colorado's home for home loans. NMLS 182334, regulated by the Division of Real Estate. Summer is upon us and it's about time. I'm Charlie Gotten, Kenny, brewmaster at Brews Beers. At Brews, badass Belgian-style beers are our thing, and we're welcoming summer with a big selection of warm-weather beers. Session strength beers that you can kick back and relax with. Fruit beers, fresh and vibrant, plus wild beers, sour beers, and all the classics. Doubles, triples, quads, and wit beers. Brews beers is at 30 to the live. Carly's there. We have food trucks daily, a big spacious patio voted one of Denver's best, and we're very dog friendly. Mark your calendar. Our third anniversary bash with live bands, tasty food, and of course great beers is Saturday, July 20th. Check it out on social media or go to our website, brewsbeers.com. That's Brews Beers, B-R-U-Z, at 1675 West 67th Avenue, just 10 minutes north of downtown. Denver's home for badass Belgian-style beers. I'll get back to the show in just a minute. I'm taking a picture right now with Gigi. She gave me a birthday card. I don't know how that's going to come out. Jeff Rock A Plus Beverage Solutions, a family business, 20 years in the business, family-owned and operated making your beer, wine, water, coffee, nitro lines come true. It's it's tap dreams, you know, Brian? Yes. It's, it's the dreams of, okay, I'm a brewer. I would love to have a restaurant, a bar, a brewery, serve the beer exactly the way this beer should taste. The temperature should be right. It should be poured right. The presentation should be poured right. And unfortunately, 
that doesn't happen all the time. And that's where Jeff Orr comes in. Yeah, or, you know, I've got 99 taps and someone came and told me they could do something and they left me hanging. And then comes, like Superman, it's Jeff Rourke. Jeff Rourke. He with A-plus a plus beverage, beverage solutions. solutions. They want you to have an A-plus report card, whether it's just maintenance or just a full build-out. They can do it for you because truly, guys, pouring inefficient beer, what are you doing? You're, You're pouring, pouring your, your money, money down, down the drain. We don't want you to pour your money down the drain. We want you to make a simple phone call. 720-272-3809. Let me get my pen. Wait a second. Got it? Got it. 720-272-3809. Get a hold of him. He'll make it happen for you. Jeff Rourke, Jeff Rourke in A-Plus Beverage Solutions. Hi, I'm Charlie Gottenkenny. We all love Belgian beer. Brewmaster at Brews Beers. What the f***'s wrong with you? <laughs> You're listening to the Modern Eater Show. Radio. Okay, back at it. Boy, what a this show yeah. flew by tonight. I know. But it's so cool because we've actually got a light kitchen. We've got the summer dinner series going every Tuesday night, and it's a packed house. And so actually to have a little lighter crowd tonight is nice. We get to get Wonderful. close and personal with some of the people in the studio. Tuesday nights here in the kitchen are kicking our ass. Yeah, aren't they? It's I mean, it's really, just, yeah. I mean, we're turning up the volume full force for this summer dinner series and the folks that we have involved like this one right here her name's carly smith she's a fairy gut mother a friend a talented gal and she self-healed herself from uh lyme's disease yeah healthy gut like a miracle and lifestyle carly how are you welcome back hi guys i'm good how are you we are cooking man it is going fast here in the kitchen and uh the weather's been a little crazy so guests have been coming in and out and sorry to put you on delay there but we wanted to catch up with you because we're about to release your menu and we wanted to give the folks that are watching on facebook and listening on our flagship station 6:30 k how a little sneak peek at your menu so we're just going to set you loose for a couple of minutes carly go talk food to us Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited about the menu. So it's five courses of gut healthy foods. So it's basically designed around foods that are going to help to support the gut. We build our digestive enzymes um, through the first few courses to prepare for the main course and then kind of finish it off with incorporating some probi probiotic rich foods that are going to help to digest uh, the main course and, and what we've had um, before that. So I'm talking about foods like we're going to have my um, sauerkraut slaw on there, a spicy sauerkraut slaw, so partnered with Vibrant, Vibrant Veggies, um, which is a local Colorado kraut company, and they have this super awesome lemon ginger sauerkraut. So I um, created this sauerkraut slaw with fresh cabbage and cilantro, green apple, um, oh gosh, what else is in there, just all sorts of deliciousness and, and fresh veggies um, to make this sort of sauerkraut slaw salad and then followed by a carrot ginger soup with a carrot top pesto drizzle and, and this is um, all sourced from field to fork uh, organic farm in Palisade, Colorado um, so that'll be uh, super delicious and really fresh um, then we've got um, some shrimp and cauliflower rice and um, some grass-fed steak with um, corner post meats and uh, some um, bone marrow butter, so getting some of that marrow gut healthy, gut healing uh, action. And then um, let's see, a couple things in between some of the meals that are going to help to boost our digestive enzymes. Got some beet, beet kvass, which is basically just fermented beet juice. Um, and then I make a little tonic with that and some of my... Uh, half sour pickles that are pickled with some digestive bitters. So again, helping to kind of support digestion, um, have my bone broth Bloody Mary in there, um, as well as uh, partnering up with brewed foods and spice trade brewing. So a little bit of a, a different uh, take on the Bloody Mary. And then finally, uh, with some my dessert, which is cherry pie crumble with some kefir ice cream. So kefir basically just... Uh, yogurt but a little bit more probiotic content in there uh and then um, some coffee and chicory root uh a brewed together and chicory root's really high in prebiotic fiber so that helps to support the beneficial bacteria so basically just a jam-packed 
five course meal of uh, gut healthy food. It's it, Carly. First of all, blown away, mind blown. Brian's over here laying on the ground. <laughs> um, it, I, it, so at first blush, and here's the thing. I'll, I'll just set you up for one question. When when people hear the notion of gut healthy foods, the first thing, and, and maybe it's just me, but the first thing that probably comes to mind is, well, it can't be good then. It's got to be weird. And, 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 Jay, you're shaking your head yes. The uh, look on your it, face is yeah. weird, but yeah, it, I know it, what you're it, talking it's gotta, about. It's got to be strange. It's got to be like out of the box and real. You know, nothing I would well, eat every yeah. single day. Can and keep. all of those menu items that you just mentioned there seem like why? Why would the first thing that comes to my mind is well, that can't be good for you. I, I can answer that because normally when you think of something that's good for you, you associate with tasting like crud, right? So, but somebody like Carly makes foods that are healthy for your gut actually taste delicious. And there's a lot of foods that she doesn't have to do a whole lot to to make them delicious and healthy for you. But I think that's wise because you think yeah. good food for you is tastes like bad stuff. Yeah, so you just identify foods that are delicious, Carly, that will be healthy for your gut, and you put them together, and boom, you've got a delicious menu you're going to serve up on the 23rd of July here in Studio Kitchen, Colorado. Yes, absolutely. And and so much of that, too, you know, just what Jay was saying is, you know, it's really uh, if you're using good quality ingredients, I mean, that right there is just, um, you know, really all you need. It's just sourcing better quality foods like field to fork and corner post meats. Uh, you know, they do a lot of the work, right? The work is just in sourcing really good quality foods. And, and quite honestly, you can make anything healthy and taste good. So, you definitely don't have to sacrifice flavor and taste for uh, really good quality food. Well, and Carly, don't you think, this is Brian Freeman, and how are you doing, Carly? Um, hey, Brian. Don't you think at some level, too, we have been trained, we have been trained that greasy, salty, fried foods are like what we want, and it's like the sugar and the salt we cr have these cravings for, but that's not really what's good for us at all. For sure. And when you start eating more of the processed foods, just like you said, your body starts craving that and that's what your body starts recognizing. But when you kind of switch, you know, step away from that and just start eating really clean, your body immediately starts to recognize these foods and starts wanting those kinds of foods that are, you know, more nutritious and, and better quality and better for you. Um, so it really is, you know, those processed foods, unfortunately, are full of chemicals and ingredients and preservatives that trick your brain into thinking that it's actually what it wants to eat. Um, and then, you know, conversely, in the gut, that kind of same thing is going on, that you're feeding the pathogenic bacteria, and then that starts telling your brain that that's what it wants to eat. Um, so it's, it's really important to make sure that, you know, you're, again, like going back to the gut, making sure that you have that healthy balance of bacteria in there, and so much of that just comes from eating really clean foods, and then, you know, you don't really have to worry about it. Well, that's and tell what, people that's what you're going to learn yeah. and much, much more during Carly's dinner. Um, delicious food. She's going to give an educational piece to that. It's going to be a great night on July 23rd, week four. Tickets available, summerdinnerseries.com. And speaking of delicious ingredients, Carly, coming up next, you'll want to stay tuned in for it because we have Adrian LaRue and Dan Lorenz, Corner Post Meats. Oh, Thank awesome. you, Carly. Thank so, you, Carly. Thank you guys so much. There Can't we wait. We'll talk to her again next week as we continue. All right, there we go. Corner Post Meets coming up next. And we'll also, let's see if we can't get, uh, just because I love the guy and, and want him to be around for a couple of segments too, we'll uh, have the be beer and meat. Beer Ooh, and meat. Yes. So it's good together. So we'll have Jack Dybalt on together as well. So Corner Post Meets and Dybalt Brewing Company, they're coming up next for the next two segments right here on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Choose your path through Cyberland. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook for all the fun photos and videos. Just search The Modern Eater or check out the website, themoderneater.com. In general, I'm a win-win guy. You won't have to spend hours searching for the right part. It's lose-lose. It's time lost for me and lost time for my crew. That's why I order from Granger with product experts that have the answers to my toughest questions and easy-to-use website to find the right product quickly I can rely on Granger to make getting supplies for my business as simple and seamless as possible. When it comes to getting things done, yes, sir. 
and win when Granger's got your back. Call clickgranger.com. Yes. So, Granger, for the ones who get it done. There's no Okay, caller. What do you have now? Uh, Colorado Mills, ACF, uh, the goods, and this break. The next one is South River Growers and Rooms. Easy platform for video conferencing, phone calls, group chat, webinars, and your conference rooms. Connect easily from anywhere. Your mobile phone, your laptop, or conference. Um, so I still have Colorado Mills, ACF, CCA, and the goods. Um, today, meet happy with Zoom. Hey, chef friends, it's Little Rich here from Rockalitas Turkey. Oh, yeah, sorry. Known for hyper-local, innovative okay. tortillas and chips. Oh, actually, hey, Greg. Top chefs, and that's why we only use Colorado Mills sunflower oil. If you, too, want to serve the healthiest, most vibrant-tasting foods, you must use Colorado Mills. Colorado Mills is hyper-local, Colorado-grown, cold-pressed in Lamar, Colorado. Whether you bake, fry, or saute, get your Colorado Mills today. Available through... Okay, are you guys there? and Don Foods. For the best oil in the business, use Colorado. Okay, so now I have the, there was a live in the next break. Do you want me to just kick it out or you want to do it in this break? Financing and instead know. of letting credit card interest okay. compound. Okay, I'll kick it out, I guess. Move it into your mortgage at a much lower rate and save up to a thousand. Yeah, in the 45. Rates haven't been this low in over a year, so now is the time. But now there's not going to be a break in 45. In your home, you can pay off any debt, not just credit cards, and you can get it done in. Okay. It's 10 days. So do you guys, do you think you want booze news or do you want the other rejoin? It takes just 10 minutes to start. Um, There's no commission. I know I'm asking you, but yeah. For any upfront fees. So do you want the booze news or do you want the regular rejoin? Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Up to two months of mortgage payments. You have nothing to lose except. Okay. Two minutes. It's expense. So give them a call. 303-695-7000. That's 303-695-7000. Or online at AmericanFinancing.net. NMLS 1823-34, regulated by the Division of Real Estate. Hey, it's Greg Holland back. Anymore these days, when I go out to eat, I not only want to eat delicious food and drinks, but I also want to eat where I know my money is going to a local restaurant that I believe in. I believe in the Goods Restaurant on Colfax and Mark with... Yeah, I'll be listening. <laughs> and bar with a menu focusing on vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, and keto options. Comfort food lovers, try the best burger on planet Earth. I love it. Eight ounces of grass-fed beef and never, ever any hormones, antibiotics, or steroids. The Goods is truly a cultural melting pot, a family restaurant open to all. Their bar program is amazing. Saddle up at their long, luxurious bar, have a nice craft beer or a cocktail. Like their Facebook page and stay up on amazing events events and specials going on throughout the week located on east colfax directly connected to the tattered cover bookstore across from east high school with free parking and a garage in back look them up online thegoodsrestaurant.com i'll see you at the goods hey guys chris johnson here owner of rome sausage your hyper local source for all things sausage awesomeness my family is proud to carry on the fine traditions of rome's founder jerry rome by producing a variety of amazing sausage in small batches with an eye on quality, not quantity. Every batch is made here in the great state of Colorado by hand mixing spices, utilizing lean cuts of pork to make an outstanding product. Sourcing ingredients and materials locally, we are committed to supporting local vendors, chefs, restaurants, and the entire Colorado food scene. Getting hungry yet? Brats, Italian, breakfast, hot Polish, green chili, chicken apple, and the world's best chorizo. You can source all of our sausage through a variety of food service distributors. If your distributor doesn't carry it, call us. We'll come direct. You want a custom item? We'll do that too. Samples, and of course, sausage jokes, can be had by contacting me directly at chris at romesausage.com or by phone at 303-296-7663. The modern eater loves Rome sausage, and I know you will too. Now it's time for the modern eaters booze in the news segment. I like my beer cold, my meat grilled, and my entertainment explosive. All we need is a, is a chair and a, and a cooler beer. Here's your booze news. All right, Booze News mixed with meat, all the Booze News you can use, and Agriculture <laughs> Report. <laughs> be the first time, right? Oh, we can do What a show is it? I mean, the weather is going crazy here in Colorado. I'll take it. I'll take the rain, but keep that white combine out of the fields. Out of the fields, these, yeah. For these farmers. That's and, uh, brutal. Wow. 
I know. Corner Post Meets rejoins us. Adrian and Dan, how are you guys? Thanks we're great now that we're here. Thanks for having yeah, us at and long waiting. Thank you. At, at long last. <laughs> if you, if you, I think we were on commercial break, but uh, you could have heard the screeching halt of our Dukes of Hazard stop into the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> they came in sideways. Adrian yeah. popped out of, the, out of the window there. Soaking wet I from know. the rain. We beat I-25 to get here, though. Fantastic. So, Jack Diebolt, you were here prompt. Yeah. Are you sure it's not Jack Diebolt? <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I came in pretty prompt. I was a little bit late. but Your commute is a little shorter than it ours, though. It was five miles tops. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty, a little bit. Pretty rough. It's, but it, going around I-25 around Bronco Stadium is always bad. You know yes. what I mean? Hail and traffic jams. Well, in the words of Brian Freeman, uh, Jack, let's start with you. Get us all lubed up with this beer. Oh, what man, really? It? What do you want me to say? I just brought a bunch of beer in. You guys asked for beer, and I brought it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he brought thankful. it, folks. I'll tell you this lager. He has a light lager. I talked about it in the last segment. Truly, every, every person that wants to try a craft beer should try your light lager because I'll tell you I what. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's, it's the I most approachable. The yeah. yeah, it is truly the most approachable, you know, craft beer that I've had. Where I'm like, that, I would do that every day. Yeah. And and you know maybe it's the summer, I it's hotter, it's really perfect think timing that for as it. We're star- starting to see the evening, the evening or the balancing of craft breweries. That if you don't have this in your repertoire, if this isn't a, a bullet in your gun, that you're probably not going to survive as a crowd. Yeah, it's, well, and I think they're, you know, that's all seasonal, right? Like right now, lagers are a big thing, and I understand why. Everybody wants to drink them. They're light. You know, it goes with just about everything. Um, but you kind of have to stay loose and light on your feet. And as the industry changes and the needs change of the industry, you kind of have to, to brew, brew stuff. Or, you know, it is hard to brew. It takes a little bit longer. It doesn't hide any uh, imperfections at all. So you can't th- dump a bunch of hops in if you mess something up. And uh, surprisingly for how, um, you know, how subtle the beer is, quite a bit can go into, you know, choosing your grains and fermentation yeah. temperatures. And but renownedly, all of these really light beers, mainstream, it's rice. It's rice dripping. Well, and, you know, I mean, for this, actually, like, we are kind of gunning after, you know, 80% of the beer sold is, is basically this beer, you and, know, or, or yeah. some, some derivative of that. And if we go after that, we're doing a lot better. We're giving something to everybody. This is corn mainly, so it's barley and corn, yeah. you know, a lager yeast strain and size hops. So we got that nice spicy kind of noble character in there, and you know, but it's all pretty subtle. It's delicious. Oh. And you guys, uh, first of all, uh, crush pizza and tap in that area. If you're there or if at, at D-Bolt, you know, go go check out that neighborhood. Absolutely, that neighborhood is really cooking right. You now. know, it is, and Crush crushes it. <laughs> I had it's to easy say. to do. No, it. No, yeah. Jason makes some amazing pizza over there. Um, you guys had him on. You know, he brought me on the show to come uh-huh. down and hang out with you guys. And his hand tossed pizza is amazing. His wings are probably some of the best in town. And I think that neighborhood is really, really underrated. You know, there's a lot of good stuff. Fact Totem is a great brewery over there. You got Crush there. You got us on the other side. So nice little triangle. You can bounce back and forth, drink some good beer, eat some good food. How important is yeah. the success of a brewery with the neighborhood that they're involved I, in? I think it's very important. You know, I mean, they're given to us, so we want to give back. You know, we're creating a space that makes everybody feel safe. Um, you get to know your neighbors. So many people in the neighborhood have become friends by just meeting in our brewery. You know, that's a really important thing. So it's not quite as much like a, like a bar as it is uh, just a gathering place, and we happen to make, you know, beer there and, and uh, facilitate that. Lube it up, if you will, like yeah. you said. What's your model? 80% tap room, 20? Are you yeah, doing- we're, you, we're probably about 30% tap room, 70% um, outside sales. And we recently transitioned to every seasonal batch we're doing now, we're going to can about 100 cases of it. So it's all going to hit the liquor stores now. So literally every beer we have on tap now is in a can. Um, some of them are bottles as we transition over. But that's why we have such a variety out here. We want to get our creativity out to everybody else that's outside of our neighborhood. You know, let them know where we're at. Let them know what we're doing. Good, Good for you. Okay, can I ask yeah, a question please. real quick about the cans? Because I've always, I've always been curious about this. Okay, because yeah. some guys are glass only. They talked about the flavor sure. that, you know, cans absorb. Did you have to do any research on that, Jack, about uh, when you were going into the world of cans? We were having an amazing conversation about this right before we came on. I'm not going to go into detail about it. But, yeah, there's a little bit that goes into that. Um, a can is a really perfect vessel for containing a beer. It's, you know, completely airtight. No light gets in there whatsoever. It is going to retain the flavor quite a bit. Um, I don't know. We're not going to wax dip, dip these things and put it in a cellar. You know what I mean? And I don't know how it's going to wear if you set it down for five years in a can. Nobody knows that yet, really. 
Um, I think it'd probably be okay, but a little bit goes into, you know, if you have a beer that has a lower acidity level, you need to research what type of lining's in the can because there is a lining in a can, so the beer doesn't actually touch the metal. So can it handle lower pH or a higher pH? Um, yeah, so, but I think everybody in Colorado wants cans, you know what I mean? Yes. You can drink oh, them in so. parks, you and can shake. drink them in hot tubs, you know, yeah. take them backpacking. I mean, it's the perfect vessel. Shake. Well, and you, we're the home of that where we put, we put, we were one of the first people to put wine in cans. Hey, yeah. Jay, give um, your one here. minute on if you actually need to have a bottle show you that it's cold enough. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's I mean, just... that's, that's why the label's blue. It's, this one's the coldest one out of all mountains. of them, guys. Just, uh, <laughs> just to tell you. You don't need the mountains to well, turn that, blue mean, to well, know it's cold, Jay. Well, I mean, that's when you know you as a company, and I know that that's a Coors thing, and, and I'm not knocking Coors, you know, whatever. But, I, I mean, honestly, though, you know, you don't need it. to. That's just a novelty thing that hopefully somebody Absolutely. buys it and goes, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, far out, you know. I mean, if you don't change your product... Wait, Bring back your far can, out. You're like, we got hats yeah. off to you. We got eight ounce can and a 12 ounce can. Here's a 16. Here's a 24 pack. Here's a 15 pack. Here's a 16 pack. You know, and it's all the same product, but somehow it bumps their sales up. Maybe it yeah. says something about their customer base. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> well, see, I was just interested in that because as I was a kid, yeah. the first beer that, w- that really was like, we're not going to give you the flavor of the can. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. And it was like the worst beer ever. I didn't even mention their name. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, you gave you us know the flavor what it of the is. beer, though. Yeah. I, and we didn't want <laughs> yeah. that. The can yeah. was a nice note in there. It was a really nice note. <laughs> Jack, you like delicious meat? I do. I love delicious you meat. You ran into the jack. I feel like you just, I ran into a joke right there, but no, maybe you, not. <laughs> this is no joke. All right, These guys okay. take it very All serious. right. And we got to know them on a very personal level to where, you know, you put us up at your place there. The Black oh, thank Forest, you for that. That was, Post it was awesome having you. Autobahn, 1,500 acres of like, I, I took a walk, Jack, in the morning, six in the morning, and the birds, I swear, I've got a recording of more than more than 100 birds. I documented I mean, it was that insane. I was up early, too. <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah. a scene yeah, out of the birds. You and Jay, <laughs> on the other hand, might have heard maybe the mid-morning birds. <laughs> yeah. We heard the brunch birds. <laughs> <laughs> the brunch whoa, whoa, whoa. birds. Not so I much the up. early bird gets the worm. No, you maybe guys. You guys, I, I, yeah, was up, you guys I was up at 4.15 doing push-ups. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. So I got I, that text I message. I saw it. Yeah. 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 I got a picture. Why you guys didn't see me right away at breakfast. I found a big rock, and I was doing push-ups. On yeah, as you yeah. can yeah. tell, they've become friends. <laughs> um, we're working together to making the summer dinner series delicious. Um, of the fair that they're providing for us. Let's just talk about n- number one. Who can do a one minute kind of this is what we are with Corner Post? Adrian's really good at that. I'm way more long winded. <laughs> We better, we better right. let her That'll do come that. come in handy next. Yeah, there we go. Corner Post Meats. All right, so we are a ranch based in Black Forest. We raise 100% grass-finished beef and lamb, forest-raised pork, chicken, and turkeys. We work with other ranchers throughout the region. We sell to chefs as well as ship nationwide to home kitchens. And, yeah, it's all about tasty meats that comes from quality land management. Oh. Quality <laughs> land management. <laughs> But that's the you were the first Autobahn, 1,500 acre Autobahn, yes. the first Autobahn uh, ranch yeah, in the so country. We, we lease our land from the National Audubon Society, so we are a part of their pilot program within their conservation ranching. Um, and so, yeah, so we're Audubon certified on, it's a beef program, but we utilize all of our animals for the land management. Yeah. And so that's on, yeah, that's on our beef. And then what's cool, too, is that so we work with the uh, Nutritional Therapy Association, which Carly Smith, who's doing the dinner in two weeks. Uh So she's at NTP. So she's been through their program. Um, So it's just neat to kind of see, like, all of our partners come together and and then make. Yeah, it's been a cool cool community to visit with you guys. Like, every time we visit with somebody on the whole Modern Eater Network where they're all the same. Same people. Yeah. Cool. Well, and we can't, I guess we can't go any further without saying Growers Organic does all of our distribution to all of the chefs um, throughout the Thank state you. of Colorado. Yeah. And so, yeah, so that's, and, and that's been a game changer for our business, and um, much not needed. being on the road. Much Absolutely. Uh, truly. So, Jack, w- w- let me just set the stage for you. We stayed overnight. We had the opportunity. Your, your four-wheel uh, 
buggy cart. Yeah, the buggy. Dan comes out, we get in this thing, and we're doing things that I never thought was truly imagined. I yeah. mean, walking with thousand pound pigs, these gentle giants that could just tear you limb. I've from seen limb. him do that before. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say oh, that. I yeah. get freaked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but we did, yeah, we moved the sows, which I think is a, that's a, Tell us what those were because we've gone back and forth throughout sure. since we've seen. Oh, like as far as a breed deal? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a that's a They're half cool hour. Most. Yeah, that's a half hour <laughs> deal on that, right? You no. want the nerdy version or you want the short version? Yeah. Give, Give us short the nerdy version, one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the nerdy short version. Yeah. No, yeah, so they're a mixed breed, right? We, so we found like a lot of those pigs, you got to kind of mix all these different breeds to find the ones that uh, do good in a totally outdoor situation. I say heritage Mangalitsa. No. They did have some Mangalitsa, yeah. Yeah, so they've got Mangalitsa, they got Berkshire, they got you name it. A lot of those older genetics, um, you know, a lot of that those heritage breeds like prior to 1950 when we got down to the grain route confinement, we started breeding pigs to uh, be more conducive to uh, to that confinement situation. Wallowing in, in nothingness at, and, well, <laughs> and being confined to like a 10 by 10 yeah. pen. If you, look I mean, at, if you look at animals, though, it, just like humans, uh, you know, you can look across and go, that's not a very happy person. <laughs> right? I thought you were going to say tasty person. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You, you look at these <laughs> animals, there's no doubt in your mind, this is a happy animal. Yeah. Yeah. That translates to yeah, the taste of the so. meat, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. You know, and a lot of it is, you know, in the pig situation, like, I, I uh, you know, there's so many different conversations going on out there in the world about animal welfare and how the animals are treated. Like, those pigs just belong outside. Thank they, you. They uh, they just do, and 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 I I just so much of what we do is, is is just putting those animals back into the ecosystem, and 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 in our ranching practices, we 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 move them a lot. We move them a lot. There's something on fire over oh, there. Yeah. Isn't <laughs> it? We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Do you, do, would you say that an animal tastes better if it's less stressed out? Happy you know, animals so are tasty animals. Yeah. You cannot deny so that. where's the line? You know, we we're, we're uh, in Colorado. Like we're so much more of an outdoor fitness exercise society. Uh, where is the line between stress and exercise? So a lot of confinement. Um, there's n- there's none. They're just they're in a cell. There's yeah. no. Yeah, and so a lot of our deal, like you got to balance um, those those pigs. I mean, you guys, we I listened to you one of your uh, other shows. Is yeah, they'll take off and run like a band of wandering hippos. I mean, they're just <laughs> well, you know, exercise so it does stress out some people. If I was talking with Jay quite a bit, <laughs> Jay definitely thinks that exercise is yeah. stressful. You're like cool. Mother Nature to Jay is stressful, and we don't want to, you know. Hey, man, you ever been to a gym with the sweat and smell of everybody else? <laughs> Working out's okay, but not out in public yeah. when, where there's other people next to you. That is stressful. <laughs> so and especially when tomorrow? somebody else knows what they're doing and you have something and you're dragging yeah. it. And nobody wants to do that. Here, here you go, guys. Jay, are we going to meet tomorrow and take a big hike in the mountains? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, when you say we, if you have a mouse in your pocket, maybe, but uh, I'm not part of it. Not right, Jay Parker. One minute left. Let's talk about how people can get their hands on this delicious meat and learn more. So we've got a couple of events coming up. So if you guys are, we've got the summer dinner series yeah. where we're here this coming Tuesday. And then the Tuesday uh-huh. after uh, Friday the 19th, we have our Friday afternoon burger club at the ranch, which is a tour um, Patty's Gourmet Burger Truck. That's Wait, what? This is happening? For yes. Real? I'm, yes. I want it. That's, I know. <laughs> yeah, you come guys on down. Come after, on. After after the show, we're talking to you guys about. So next Friday night, the the nineteenth, we've got yeah tour burgers, wine flight, fire pit. Yeah, acoustic guitar. Yeah, all that we'll light oh, the that's sofa on fire the, for you. Online, you at can the look ranch. that yeah, up. Yeah, so hop on cornerpostmeats.com. Look at the experience Can I bring page. Jack? Yeah, can we yeah, bring absolutely. some Devolt beer? You don't want to bring it. You don't want to bring it. Yeah, we do. Come on, yeah, that do. man stash crazy. you've got. Come on. I'm going to bring an electric He's looking guitar, for a date. I'm telling you what. We're going to pair you guys up for one of these meals No confinement right here. This is all free range. Free range right there. Free range mustache. The best of the best, guys. This is truly why we do this we find the best of the best for you and we bring it to your attention and it's up to you at that point in time to make the decision with what's right for you and i really have a feeling 
you look these guys up, you're going to say, that's right for me. <laughs> look at our videos. Look at our road trip 2019. It's all fantastic stuff. We thank you so much, and we'll see you for Keegan's dinner on Tuesday and next week back here at Studio Kitchen Colorado on the Modern Eater Show. All money managers might seem the same, but can give their clients cookie-cutter portfolios. Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to your goals and needs. Some only call when they have something to sell. Fisher. KRFX HD2 Denver. This is Denver's Talk Station 630 KHOW with Ross Kaminsky Mornings. Dan Kaplis Afternoons at 4. KHOW Denver. Dad living alone in their house? Hi, I'm Joan London. Listen, I know how difficult it is to find senior care for someone you love. That's why I recommend a free service called A Place for Mom. They are the nation's largest senior living referral service. Call A Place for Mom today. To receive free information on senior living communities in your area, call A Place for Mom at 1-800-681-0573. A Place for Mom offers free one.